Hello, welcome back to Quest. This episode, I want to continue with the exploration quest line. Uh, we, as a reminder, I want to get to the Portal to the Last Millennium quest that will um, unlock the ability for me to move on in transportation, which at the end of the day is what I really want to do. But since the bills, the advanced deals require, and and uh, in essence, the Portal to the Last Millennium, I want to get to that quest first. The next quest in exploration is Exotic Collector. Hymns harvest the nether mod, adds more materials and collectibles that spawn in the nether. Collect, collect, them, su collect some as a souvenir. So, Hymns harvest the nether mod is a similar mod, or made by, it's a, a mod, essentially spin-off mod, of Hymns Harvest Craft, which adds many seeds, um, and various other nature materials. This is Pam's Harvest Craft. This is Pam's Harvest the Nether. Essentially just adds some other nether materials. And the first quest wants me to get nether logs, nether leaves, ignis fruit sapling, and ignis fruit. Um, the ignis fruit tree is uh, has nether logs and nether leaves. So essentially Pam's Harvest the Nether mod adds nether trees, or called ignis trees, that spawn the nether and they drop apple, nether equivalents of apples, and whatnot. So, that means just a quick trip to the nether, once again, as part of the explosion questline. And we need some shears to get the leaves, and probably a bit of cobblestone, if I were to guess, just to bridge, perhaps. And do we have any potions left over? We have one potion of fire resistance we can able to take, and is there anything else I'm forgetting, perhaps? I don't think there is. Maybe I could, um, fix up my axe a little bit. With obsidian, there we go. Alright, let me go to the nether and hopefully find a tree relatively soon. I don't remember seeing any nether trees around my spawn area, so I may have to go, um, a little bit further away than I may like to uh, find those nether trees, but we'll see. I have spotted a nether tree, an ignis tree. Um, great. And we're like right by the portal as well, like 60 blocks away. Not bad at all. Um, actually a lot of them, I guess I just was flying when I came into the nether for the first time, or other times. Um, or maybe I just wasn't looking for them, so I didn't see them. Anyway, uh, the problem now lies in actually getting over there. I think that should be fine. Um, because if I do recall, I can get up on this kind of plateau, and there's like a path down or something, I think. Let me check that. Oh, well, there's actually more painful ones over here. Let me go to these first before going to like the ones like right next to the lava lake. So we have um, Ignis Boot, which I just right click, and nothing happens. Oh, it fell all the way over there. Cool. We just need one, right? Uh, yes, but considering I didn't bring any food, stupidly, um, it probably would be ideal to have, at least try to get more than one. Uh, so we have shears. We need 16, right? Uh, can I break these ignis fruits, considering they're not growing? Or breaking by themselves? Yes, I can. They don't get me anything, though, but that's fine. And that is more than enough, and so we can chop down the tree. Uh, we got another sapling, which is good. We have five nether logs. I think that's the task complete. Um, so that's part one of Exotic Collector. Part two, we've somewhat seen before. It requires quartz ingots, which is added by Pam's Harvest the Nether. These quartz ingots are used in um, the various quartz we've been having to make, for example. The uh, red quartz, the blaze quartz, the lavender quartz, um, and the elven quartz, or the sunny quartz, the other three, or the other two, you have to get through Britannia progression. But for the sunny quartz, you, you use a liquid of sunshine. Uh, the red quartz, you use redstone. Lavender quartz, you use eye of as we've seen. And blaze quartz, you use blaze powder as we've seen. Um, 
So since we've died in court tickets in the past, it already checks that. Now it just wants us to make a court helmet and um, various other quartz um, armor pieces. So, for example, the chest plate, quartz um, leggings, and finally, quartz boots. You may expect that they just uh, the normal, all that. And since we have, so we actually have 21 uh, blocks of quartz, which you can turn back into I will nine nether quartz those. So get. I'm thinking we may have enough uh, required ingots to do uh, what I want to do, which is good. Uh, so we need seven for the leggings. Um, shoot, hold on. I've, I've done this very inefficiently. Seven for the leggings, and then eight. For the uh, chest plate. Very good. Um, so we want something like that. And there. I'm trying to do this efficiently and somewhat failing. Where did the other quartz ingots go? There we are. And finally, we need the chest plate. Perfect. That is a quest complete, I do believe. Yes, and that, yeah, so that, uh, there are only two tasks. It gives us another bed, which we can use as a bed in the nether. If you know vanilla, you'll know that a bed explodes when you try to sleep in it in the nether. This bed will not explode in the nether, so therefore you can set your spawn point. And we get a choice of nether gardens, marrow uh, berries, or blood leaves. I'm going to choose the nether gardens because I do believe how these work is you can place them down. You can break them and then you get various different nether crops. So we got flesh roots, we got blood leaves, and we got mower berries from that. Um, from that reward, which is good. So that's a quest complete. Uh, these have 194.95 durability, uh, which is less than di the diamond. Um, Armor um, I currently have on, so, but that can be used as a really good backup. Uh, so I'm going to put this nether bed in the nether, so we can um, just find our nether portal. Um, and so, if we, whenever we do go back to the nether, we can set a small spawn point there. So, uh, right here seems like a good spot. Um, we can right click on it, I do believe. And it doesn't do anything. I, which I thought it would. So, maybe I'm lagging? I don't know. Maybe it, I, I haven't actually used this, um, quite surprise. But maybe it has to be night in the open world for me to actually sleep. That would make sense. So, when, uh, Whenever I go back to the nether, I'll try it then. The next quest in the exploration quest line is Glowstone. To progress further in, the, in this quest line, and therefore in this mod pack, you need 126 Glowstone. You'll see why in the next quest. So it has us get 126 Glowstone, which may seem like a really strange number. However, very strange specific number. Um, but it is, this Glowstone is, does have a very specific use. And the quest does direct you to what to use this glowstone for in the next two quests, I do believe. So how much glowstone do we have right now? We have 69. Oh, wait, is that correct? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see in just a second. We can turn this glowstone back into 9, which is more efficient than just breaking it, obviously. Um, and so once that disappears, um, or gets back into the system, we will be able to see exactly how much glowstone we have. We have 93. We need a little bit more. And luckily, we do have um, glowstone crops, uh, which we can use to farm glowstone dust. That's essentially how I've been getting all my glowstone. At the end of the day, um, at, for the quest book and for the mod pack, I don't, the quest book doesn't care. I don't care. You shouldn't care about how you get your resources. Um, you can get them through farming, you can get them, you can get them through, um, 
like mining, you can get them through vanilla way of obtaining them, like I could, if I wanted to, I could go to the nether and get all this glowstone from just the nether ceiling. Um, or I could sieve glowstone, I think I can sieve dust to get glowstone. But I'm choosing to go to the farming route, um, so you don't feel like, oh well, the quest tells me to get glowstone, I think it's probably telling me to go to the nether to get glowstone. If you hadn't progressed in agricraft uh, before com before going into exploration, you may want to do that. Um, but at the end of the day, the nether wood spores are there for a reason. Use them to farm glowstone if you want. Um, at the end of the day, all that matters is you have the resources required to make to explore Minecraft and explore non Minecraft. Um, and just have fun. That's that's what's important. Uh, so how much glowstone do we have right now? We have well, more than hundred, at least 126. Not bad. Uh, so we get a reward bag and a choice of liquid glowstone or energized glowstone. I'm not exactly sure what the differences between this and all honesty. Um, energized glowstone may be used for different things than liquid glowstone. Um, energized glowstone is added, I want to say, by thermal expansion. Yes, or oh, Thermal Foundation, rather, and Liquid Glowstone is added by Tinker's Construct, I want to say. Liquid Glowstone. Um, maybe Extra Utilities. Oh no, Extra Planets, apparently. Um, so now exactly what's Liquid Glowstone used for, exactly? Not much, however... Um, what did I get? <laughs> Energized glowstone is used to make lumium. Uh, and lumium is definitely very important. You can use it to make lumium ingots, and it's a material for Tinker's Construct. And lumium ingots are used um, in modern lumium glass, uh, gears, and all that. It's, it's an important metal. Um, so I think Energized Glowstone was definitely the right choice. Um, maybe should have looked at that before choosing it, but oh well. Um, I'll just keep that in there for a rainy day. We get a cutting board, interesting, with a, an epic reward back. This is actually a quest item. So this is required of a quest, I do believe, in cooking with Pam, which we haven't gotten to yet, but that'll be useful when we do get to that quest one. So next in exploration, which was 60% done with. We are to heaven. Um, so make an aether portal and go to heaven. An aether portal is the same exact shape as another portal, but you replace the obsidian with glowstone and light it with a water bucket. So the aether is arguably one of the most famous Minecraft mods, especially in the vanilla community. Uh, it essentially adds another dimension that is very similar to the nether. Except it has a more heavenly feel. So if you think of the Nether as hell, then you should think as the Aether as heaven. Um, and you get there by making a portal to the Aether, and that portal is constructed just like another portal, except you replace the glowstone with, but you replace the obsidian with glowstone, and you replace the flint and steel with a water bucket. So that's why. I have you make or obtain 126 glowstone because that is the exact amount of glowstone required. Uh, what am I doing? To make 14 glowstone blocks in a 9x9 crafting table. Of course, in vanilla, it's just a 4x4, but in Wesley Mayhem, that doesn't work. And 14. We can clear that. And that's a quest complete. Uh, we I'm going to choose the colored block of redstone just because that's redstone. Uh, the better choice. And I, we got a tin orbe bush. Hope we would. That's fine. So, uh, let's grab a bucket of water quickly. Uh, or just a bucket. I can fill it up on the way there. Uh, I also want a some cobblestone. Just, for, um, just like the nether, essentially prepare 
the nether. Um, when you're preparing for the acre, you'll want a way to get back, so a bucket of water. You'll want some blocks to bridge across, although there are no things that explode in the ether, so you can take whatever blocks you want. And you may want a crafting table. Oh no, you won't want a crafting table because they have trees. So, if we take a bucket of water, and let's go to the nether portal. I want to place this pretty much right next to the nether portal, just kind of a portal area, I suppose. Um, so, hmm. Where's the best place to put this? I guess right here will suffice. Uh, and this will also light up the area as well, which is a nice plus. So, again, just like a nether portal. And you can right click a bucket of water inside the portal and you make an aether portal. When you go through this aether portal, you arrive in the aether. Um, so you can see that uh, we're essentially on, or you can maybe say, once it stops lagging, uh, that we're essentially on uh, Sky Islands. This is actually, oh my god. Don't ask me what's going on, I don't know. Um, but these things will probably go away. Yeah. So there are things that explode, good to know. Um, Actually, I didn't grab a second bu bucket of water. Let me go back to the bowl and get that. Okay, bucket of water obtained. Uh, these are uh, cockatrice. Uh, they're just a native mob, kind of hostile uh, to the aether. Uh, there's also uh, some pigs around here, some flying pigs. And um, surprisingly, this is kind of sort of random, but in um, for some reason, the Blitz from Thermal Expansion like to spawn in the Aether in abundance for some reason. They're not added by the Aether, um, they're not programmed, as far as I know, by the Aether developer to spawn in the, in the Aether. They just spawn because, I don't know, some problems with buying ID or something, but you'll see a lot of them in the Aether. And uh, so there's actually, in the world creation menu, there's actually a way to play your entire Questing Mayhem experience using this um, world type. You won't get the Aether Grass or the Holy Stone or whatever. Uh, you won't get the Aether Blocks um, in the overworld, but you will be able to have essentially um, floating islands like this as your overworld um, if you want. It is um, So when you're creating your world, if you want, you can go into the options menu and uh, click um, world type until you get to Skylands. And your your entire world will look something like this, except you place the aether grass with normal grass. And you place like the stone with like the middle stone. Um, and you also get ores and all that. Um, but yeah, if you want to play on a kind of a skyblock type Skylands map, you can do that. Um, you'll you will be able to complete all the quests just like normal, um, but you there will be that extra little bit of challenge. But anyway, now that we're in the Aether, there are some quests for us. Let me get away from the noisy portal. Um, easier collecting. Of course, before there was easy collecting, which is just collect netherrack and soul sand. But of course, anything in the nether is a little bit difficult. The Aether is easy, it's easier collecting. Um, so this wants us to collect 64 Aether dirt. So that is just this normal dirt, right below here. Um, so it may take a little bit of time, but again, fairly easy I do think. So there are these um, flying cows and the sheep puffs um, native to the Aether, and the uh, Cockatrice is, um, has kind of shoot arrows. Okay, they're kind of like the hostile creature. Uh, the pig, the pigmen of the ether, if you will. Almost done with the dirt. Oh. Yeah, and they also poison you, because why not? Uh, so four more. Perfect. 
task complete. Next is to get 32 holy stone or mossy holy stone, the war dictionary. Because there is some um, variants of Aether type stuff, so you can see, like, it's a pretty extensive mod. Um, it creates a whole biome, so it needs a bunch of different blocks. Um, so, the holy stone. Apparently, there's got purple dye. Inkwell plants, don't know about what that is. That's fine. So, yeah, we can just, um,. Dig down. If I want it to become day, I think I can just sleep in the overworld. Um, and so that's an option. But I'm fine with it being night. I think it should be fine. Um, what would be maybe beneficial is if I built a little box around the portal. Don't know if I'll have enough cobblestone for this, but we'll see. Figure in the way, kind of. Sorry. Yeah, the, the uh, clouds are annoying, to say the least. Yeah. I may actually want to go into the overworld. Oh, yeah, mind the clouds. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, I may want to actually go into the overworld and sleep real fast. Um, so let me do that, and I'll be back. Yeah, so um, it appears uh, daytime Aether is a lot uh, more peaceful. Um, you at least don't have those storm cloud things ruining your day, so that's nice. Um, I will finish this house at a later date, what I call the house, it's a box, but still. Um, because I don't have the patience for that right now. And also the portal is very loud, and I want to continue with the process. So the, uh, still haven't gotten enough holy stone apparently, a little bit surprised by that. Uh, we only have 10, but that's fine. Uh, it's simply just a matter of digging down and getting 22 more holy stone. Um, See so yeah, how the Aether can kind of act as a uh, kind of substitute for the Nether, if you will, uh, if you want. Um, kind of more peaceful. You can perhaps mess around in it a little bit more. You can open chance cubes if you want. Or you could even live in the Aether if you really want to. Um, there are trees and there are animals for food. Um, it would be a little bit difficult to maybe complete some quests that require, say, normal dirt. But, you know, never hurt. Uh, so we have more than enough for the quest. That's a quest complete. I'm going to choose a chance to cast a future. And I think we're going to open this one in the Aether, just as a celebratory, um, well, chance. Chance time. Uh, the board bag is good. And we get transpreneurs with liquid. I will not complain about that in the slightest. So, kind of far away from the uh, base of operations because they can still be dangerous and would rather not destroy our own liquid back home. So, sure. Apparently, that's the first time I may have been a chance to cast it. Thought I opened it at least once, but oh well. And we get. A diamond sword with one durability, but we can one punch anything. Too bad I can already do that. Um, at the very least, it gives me a lot of. Uh, oh yeah, and it has an unbreaking of course, so it doesn't necessarily die in one hit. There's a chance for it though. Um, so the next quest is Aether Orb. Use the Aether Altar to turn Gravitate into Enchanted Gravitate, which will be used in end game recipes. This altar is powered by Ambrosium Shards. Right click Gravitate onto the altar and then three Ambrosium Shards onto the altar to obtain Enchanted Gravitate. Remember this quest description and information at the end of the pack. So yes, um, Enchanted Gravitate is a version of Gravitate, which is a, a uh, ore in the Aether which we'll be collecting soon. And it, is, it doesn't show a recipe in it, but the recipe is explained in that quest description. And it's used in um, some very endgame extreme recipes. Um, just because I don't like to linger on these recipes for too long, but the Symphony Catalyst is like the resource in endgame. Um, so you'll be requiring, you'll be using a lot of enchanted to gravitate. But anyway, right now we don't want to focus on the Enchanted Gravitate, or the Altar, even. 
we just want to focus on Xenite Core, Ambrosium Shards, and Gravitech Core. Uh, so these are just ores, just like iron or copper or coal, that spawn around the Aether. So maybe if you go exploring in the Aether a little bit, you will be able to find kind of um, Gravitech just poking out. Um, perhaps in this cave of Blitzes, for example, which I can one shot, which is nice, but still, it's pretty bad. It's a really good source of, um, the Aether is a really good source of, uh, Blitz words, though, which I, I can use in Infinity Catalyst, also Blitz Powder, um, Evothium Dust, yeah, they, they're useful. Um, so yeah, yeah, like right here, you'll see here that this is Ambrosium Ore, you find this to get Ambrosium Shards. We need 16 of this for the quest. Um, we have 8, so we'll need just a little bit more. Uh, but we also need a bunch of other ores as well. So I'm going to go exploring for a little bit. Um, we'll be exploring every part of the Aether, or at least the parts I know about. We'll be exploring in this section of the Aether. Um, maybe not this episode, but definitely within the next few episodes. Um, but in the meantime, let me try to find some more ore. So it turns out I'm actually going to have to use my Silk Touch pickaxe for this, um, which I actually had to mine for a little bit with, um, to be able to put the Silk Touch modifier on it, which is why you see the emerald on there, but that's fine. Um, and we need 15 more of those, and I do believe, and uh, also the Gravitate Orb, which I do believe only spawns in like the really low areas really sucks. Um, really like low areas of the islands. Um, so like over there is kind of where I'm expecting it to be. Um, either that or like way below. Uh, so that will be fun and exciting to do. And also again, watch out for the blue air cloud. Uh, we'll get into this in just a minute once I complete this quest. Uh, and destroy all of these boxes. You see why I said like Blitz is like the spawn here, I don't know why. Um, I do believe, yes, the cold air, cloud, air clouds are safe to land on them. Which is good. Um, quick soil makes you quick, who would have thought. And also, it, it kind of it moves you depending on where your mouse is pointed, which is weird. It's like not the way you expect Minecraft to work quite well. Um, where did I see that? Green night, but not over there. Uh, just no, 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 no. Um, this may be fairly tricky. Uh, let me see if I can just get up there. Thank you. Yes, it's a night. Um, we only need a little bit more of that now, which is good. Um, so I'm going to look for that. Um, but before I do that, actually, let me see about going down below and uh. Don't worry about falling off the Aether, because you'll just land back um, on the overworld. Uh, that's just the way it works. Um, think about it as like the Aether is maybe... Ooh, uh, I may be able to show you in just a second. Uh, the Aether is kind of like um, above the overworld, so if you fall down, you just fall back onto the overworld. So, you won't die. Or at least, you won't fall out of the world, per se. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of a water park quad to get over here. This is where, like, having a jetpack from transportation will have really helped out. But alas, I need to do this first. It'll give me a good, um, satisfaction, I suppose, after completing it. I don't know. Um, maybe it'd be better if I found a better area. <laughs> yeah, so I just fell out of the Aether. And as you can see, I landed back down in the overall. My base is right over there. Back to, back to the Aether, I suppose. I do believe that is a test complete, or a, um, 
part complete of the task. Now I just need that stupid gravitate or of which I have found zero. Which is uh good to know, and that's like a party of blitzes. Great. Target acquired. That is the gravitate that I need right there, and I am of course completely underneath a sky island. This will be what a what a joy to get to. Um I'm actually going to bridge across, I think. That will be the safest bet. And that's going to account for like maybe at max six of what the quest desires will gravitate. Uh so that's super fun. Um yeah, so this quest may take a little bit of time. Um and it may complete it next episode. We will see. Um because of course the rare store I of course required the player getting the most of because I didn't know what it was like at the time. Now I do. Um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so that is three out of the sixty-four that we need. Um, so so very cool. Uh, there's some more over there, which I'm going to go to now. Okay, literally several hours later, I think I have found all sixty-four gravitate that I need. There's 59 in my inventory. This is um, accumulated after. Oh, probably several, at least several hours um, of just falling, watering down to um, various islands, the bombs of various islands, and bridging across and trying to find gravitite. And I think this should be, there's at least four right here. So if I don't, um, let me get right below it. Yeah, so there were four, and then there are at least two more right over there. Um, and so that, of course, adds up to, um, six, 65 at least. Uh, and yeah, that is enough to complete the quest. This, um, I didn't... Yeah, um, kind of, uh, it's kind of a bad design, I suppose, to have the player get 64 of a very, 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 very rare ore, especially if they try to complete it before unlocking transportation, because, let me tell you, a jetpack could have come in real useful, um, for this quest, um, so, I don't know. I can announce that there is going to be a Quest Mayhem 1 version 1.0.3 um, to fix a uh, somewhat game breaking bug. You currently cannot complete Quest Mayhem in 1.0.2, so I may rework some quests, some quests like this. Um, well, just like one or two in particular I had in mind um, that are perhaps a little bit unbalanced, but. We will see. This episode has taken forever to complete, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching this video.